All right, so if you're not using AI detection software, you're pretty much screwed. That is if you want any of your SEO content to actually rank, uh, whether it's tomorrow, a month from now, a year from now, you're gonna have to start using the AI detection software because in the past month or so, not sure when the update happened, they have gotten a whole lot better and it's taking a lot more effort to try and clear the AI detection software. And the one I'm using is what I found to be the most stringent one. So this is the strictest one that I could possibly find. And this is the one I'm putting my content through so that, you know, if I can pass this, I'll be able to pass any other AI detection software. So the way I do this, and I'm gonna show you, is showing AI a human written piece and an AI written piece, and then telling the chat GBT or whatever you're using, telling the AI, find the difference between these two. One of them is deemed to be human written and the other one is AI written. I need you to find exactly what it is, the differences, and then set up a prompt that's going to help me create newer pieces. So this is essentially a portion that I'm adding to the prompt and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, uh, what keyword was I using? Um, best CMS for SEO. So I'm gonna start with this first thing. Let's go to our little document that I've set up. The first thing, let me zoom in. First is prompt the AI with the initial task. So I need your help <clears throat> trying to get around AI detection software when it comes to blog writing. So I'm trying to give it more and more information about what exactly I want the AI to do. And I'm using ChatGPT for this one. So I'm asking, I'm telling it a bit of background, right? So there's AI detectors. These tools are designed to detect, detect when text was partially or entirely generated by AI. And then I'm telling it, I'm going to provide you with two pieces of content. One of them is AI written and the other one is human written. And I need you to analyze the two pieces for me. So step one, I'm going to use, I have this little program here that you might have seen before and that is Harpa. So I'm going to just get it to write me a blog. SEO optimized article. And I'm going to use this keyword. And then it's going to give me an article. Uh, the good thing about this, uh, this uh, Chrome plugin is that you can then stylize it whichever way you'd like. They have a bunch of different ones here. Um, so we'll just keep with the original version and I'm going to show you that this is certainly, I haven't checked, but this is certainly going to come out as a zero and zero is not good, right? So you want to get a score of hundred or as close as you can to 100. Let's give it a moment. Here we go. So 1%, obviously it shows you even breakdown of each word, whatever, each sentence that is AI generated. So that's good. So we have our first piece. And first part of this is blog number one. So we're gonna give ChatGPT the first blog. So I will just copy this and paste it into here. And I will include these prompts if uh, anyone wants to leave a comment and ask for the prompt, I will do that. So here we go. This is, I'm indicating blog one. This was the one that deemed AI written, okay? now end of the blog and now I'm going to give you blog number two so let's just go to blog number two and I'm going to take one of the high ranking ones because these are surely going to be optimized for SEO uh, HubSpot is a good one I've checked all of these uh, I've, I've actually went to page two and three and they are still pretty good uh, human written score so I'm just going to take this one uh, just as an example so we're going to copy this, paste it into here, and just so you can see, copying didn't work the first time. Let's uh, run this again. So there you go. That's the HubSpot article. A lot cleaner, a lot human friendly. -er. And what we're going to do, let's do these one at a time. Let's do a new chat. 
using ChatGPT4. I haven't tried it with 3.5, but it should work. I think this isn't too much too complex of a topic or a prompt. So you can break it down or you can put it all into one prompt. I've done it both ways. Um, I don't think it really matters, honestly, but I'm going to break it down. So I'm providing it with the first portion of the prompt and then it should ask me about, all right, I understand. Please provide the second piece. Okay, so it's asking me for the second piece. And what do I have? That is step two. So I'm just going to copy this and hit enter and then copy the good piece, so to speak. Then, oh, <clears throat> then let's see what they give. It's going to give me the answer right away. I'm not sure. That was a difference. Okay, so now it's going to give me a breakdown of e of the style and tone and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to, of each blog, so I'm going to fast forward through this. All right, so it finished doing the analysis. And before I move on, guys, please give the video a like, comment, no matter what you want to say. If you want to hate, please just do it in the comments, ask questions. So we got the two versions, blog number one, and it's giving a breakdown of everything that it could possibly fine sentence complexity and vocabulary and depth and same thing for blog two and then it even gives the key differences right so you already have this that you can put into a prompt saying hey this uh, these are guidelines that i want you to use i conducted analysis uh on the difference between ai written and human written these are the key points i need you to follow it's as easy as that. You can take the extra step. Step number three is asked to create a prompt. And I have this prompt here, given this information, I need you to word it into a prompt that an AI would understand. And who better to ask how an AI would understand this stuff than an actual AI. And here is the comprehensive prompt. I'm gonna skip through this. So it's just finishing up here. And this guys is the best way to get human written content, you've obviously tried the, you know, use perplexity and burstiness. That was at the very beginning of this AI boom. That stuff is garbage. Even I've tried it all. Even if you go and find the definition for perplexity and burstiness, you just get a bunch of bullshit that's in the wording. And it just doesn't even make sense, to be honest with you. This is a much better way because we're actually getting the information from the source. Like who says burstiness and who says perplexity? Uh, if you're using that, it's just going to come up with a bunch of wild stuff that, I mean, the, it while it might pass AI detection, and it will, because it just sounds so stupid. And they're like, well, there's no way a robot wrote this. I mean, you know, it's just not good. This is the best way. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stop, 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 stop. Don't go. Please subscribe. Like the video. Leave comments. If you want to hate, do it right here.